this prop is constructed to help you learn about the Kessley Haynes 325 electronic brake control module commonly found on the Chevy to help in some of the mysticism surrounding this brake module which is prone to failure. It's usually found on the 2000 era Chevys. This is the underside. You have three electrical connectors. One, two, three. Okay, then it bolts on with four Torx T20. One, two, three, four. Some cars, it's under the hood, easy to get to. You'd be looking at it from up here, and you unscrew one, two, three, four from up top. On some trucks, it's underneath, and you're looking at it from this angle. You're looking at it from that angle, it's one, two, three, four. This is what you use to. to unscrew it in a tight spot. T20, quarter inch socket, quarter inch drive, to a three eighths. Torx, quarter inch, X, quarter inch drive, to three eighths drive. On trucks where you have to come from the top, it's tight, so this is what you use to get in there. Ratchet up like that. One, two, three, four. Very tight. Take your time. The screws are not on tight, but they could be corroded, so take your time. Don't strip it. Take your knife and proceed to cut all the way around the perimeter. See inside. Then begin to inspect the various uh, solder joints. So silver things. Begin to inspect them. Begin to inspect one, two, three, four, five. With your side iron, do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a close-up of the solder joints that you're going to want to repair. One, two, three, four. Also repair any uh, other cracked ones you see. You can tell they're cracked because they won't be exactly smooth. So get in with your solder gun and simply add a little solder to one, two, three, four, and then there's a fifth one. The fifth one is is near this barcode that you'll see. And it's this one, and also double check this one up here. Basically, under this area is the relay. And 
when the ABS and brake light are on, you get the fault code, which is code CO265, which is electronic brake control module relay circuit. What that code is telling you is that there's a problem with the relay circuit. That's all it's saying, 265 relay circuit problem. Well, here is the relay circuit in this area. So check all the uh, solder joints here. It's typically, again, this one right here. But check that one and any of them on the relay circuit right here and simply solder, solder and solder. That's it. You can use a simple 25 watt soldering gun, normal solder. You don't have to do anything special. Just make it look nice again. There are many companies out there that are uh, selling a repair service for this module when your brake light and ABS light come on and they typically go from $100 to $150. This is a hustle, okay? It's a hustle. The only thing wrong with the module is broken solder joints. Typically four to six broken solder joints that take about 10 minutes to repair fully with a basic soldering gun and some basic solder. The price is only $100 to $150, which is because nothing, there's, there's no parts being put into the module, no matter what the claims are, a new relay is not being put in and a new relay is not the problem. The relays uh, very, very rarely fail. The problem is simply the relay circuit, but it's not the relay itself, it's the contacts. Um, that's why the price is only $85 to $150 that some of these hustlers charge online. When you take your module out and mail it into them, they simply open it up uh, and solder those four to six points that I mentioned earlier. There's no relay put in, there's no labor put in, not for $100. Anybody who is in business or who uh, does business on their own knows that for $100 you're not going to do anything. Okay, it's going to be, in other words, what I'm saying is if if you're charging, if a business owner is charging $100 to repair something, all he's doing is putting in about 10 minutes of worth of work. Anything more than that and the price would be more, $200, $300, especially when you consider that a new ABS unit costs anywhere from $300 to $500 uh, used or $1,500 from the dealer brand new. So the price that some of these hustlers online are charging to repair this is indication that not much is involved and as you'll see it fixes the problem and it simply is a uh, matter of soldering a few joints and the lights will go off and the module is completely fixed pretty much for the next 20 years uh, and it costs you absolutely nothing. So there's no need to send it in, there's no need to, to, to pay somebody $100 if you can solder yourself. There's nothing to be afraid of. All it simply is, is cracked solder joints, which is common, and anything that receives vibration, heat, and cold. The module is, is uh, typically uh, bouncing up and down with the suspension components, and over years, these, these points have Things get a little weird, and when these begin to corrode, the parts of the relay no longer function well, but it is simply a matter of soldering the loose contacts that I mentioned earlier. It costs you nothing, and this will fix the problem, 
it will fix the problem for anybody out there who is having a intermittent brake light and ABS light coming on with the 265 code. Generally, if you have an intermittent brake light and ABS that come on at the same time, such as when you go over a bump in the road and it seems like the brake light and the ABS come on and it doesn't happen all the time, seems intermittent, that is the problem, what I just showed you. It's simply soldering points coming loose. Uh, I have done this repair multiple times on different vehicles. This is the fix. It has worked each time. Simply take out the unit, re-solder the five to six uh, spots on the uh, unit with new solder and put the unit back in and plug it back in and these lights will disappear as well as the code. It's that simple. There's no mysticism around it at all. All it is is loose connections. It's very easy to do. Skip the time polishing the ground and all this, uh, uh, you know, pop, uh, checking the ground connection. Forget about that. It's not that. It's simply the loose connections. I've done it over and over. And the people that sell this online, the repair service, the people that sell the repair service online know this as well. That's why they hustle it up on Craigslist, eBay, and all these different forms because they get $100 a pop for about a five minute fix requiring nothing but a soldering iron. Uh, that's why it's hustled and advertised all over the place because it's easy to do. So what's my point? If it's easy to do, it's easy for you to do, it's easy for anybody to do. There's too much mysticism around this in the Chevy world. It needs to be put to rest. You can do this on your table, in your living room, in about 10 minutes and be done with it. So uh, go out there, don't be afraid. Grab the unit and take it inside. Cut it apart, re-solder it, and you're done. No more mystery. It'll be fixed, I guarantee it. No need to pay hundreds of dollars or disconnect the ABS system completely. Just fix it, it's easy to do, I guarantee 